Welcome. Welcome. Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon. Afternoon. So, so today we're doing another yet again thing of family fitness crap. So I don't really know how this came about, but I walk. We go for walks in the dark when my kids are asleep with our other sister. And there's this... And her kids. One particular... Kids yeah, too. yeah. And there's this one particular walk that... We're going to give you... A, we're going to show you a video clip of... That I started doing. I don't really know how it came about, but... Uh, I started sure doing that. it every day, so... Here it is. Here's, Here's Lindy's. Braiding. The Family Fitness Day, again, the second time, we are going to have Lindy demonstrate something that she did it while we were your core. It's a new way doing to your core. while and your legs and different parts that you didn't know existed. And you see what happened was we went on, well, we'll explain in the video after this. Okay, here goes Lindy in her walk. <laughs> you know what? You want me to walk pat, walk back? I mean, you look pretty silly, and people will think. You're now make your legs wider. Yeah, and the it strengthens your core because you have to hold yourself and your legs, tight. depending on who you are. For me, it strengthens my legs. Try not to bend your legs too much. She usually walks this, but you know, I'm sure that. Running it is getting her a good workout too. Yeah, it is. It's, it works faster that way. Holy grab. I feel good. Woo! Do you have any other special walking skills? There was something else. Backwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, have I ever done this before? I did. Who cares if you did? <laughs> <laughs> well, this works different leg muscles. You can feel it in your hips, that's for sure. And you can feel it in the front of your legs instead of the back. I feel it the most, like, right here. Huh. So. Now run. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to do it out on a big country road like this so that you don't look like a fool, like we're doing, then. Here we are. Mine, as you can see, I look like a complete fruitcake doing it and so here's mine and i like i'm i lindy was the one who made it up and she's the one who does it every day and our older sister started doing it too to give herself a better workout when we start well, when because we, we go and i do push-ups and then i sometimes do squats and i do cardio and sometimes i do some pretend pull-ups they're pretend pull-ups and pretend push-ups but i do all that and then i'm like my abs need some help and it's not like that helps my abs but it helps my core so I feel like on the way home when we're walking I just walk like a penguin so here's Thasia's and I don't do mine every day but mine are kind of like see how goofy I can get mine to look and get wider get smaller get like lift your legs more don't bend your knees at all kind of like see how goofy I can make it but here's mine so now Thasia is going to do the penguin walk so I'm dressed like an athlete so I look like a bum and it works different muscles on me than Lindy, so apparently different muscles are strong on me than her. Because I don't feel it in my abs at all, like not even a it little. Does, it's not in my abs, it's in my back. Oh, mostly. I don't feel it anywhere in my core. No. Oh. I feel it strictly in my legs. So apparently we have different strengths in our bodies. And so here we go with mine. And I'm serious about this. I do this. We take walks in the evenings when it's dark outside. And I do this every day. So I'm not just... <laughs> there she goes. So I... But I do it in the, in the cover of the night. <laughs> you gotta rotate your arms. Rotate them. 
And there you have it. As you can see, we both look like fruitcakes, and that's why we do it under cover of night when my kids are asleep. So how it originally kind of got started was Lindy... I don't even know how it got started. I don't know why I, do. I started walking I do. Like that. I know why. Well, I don't know why she started walking like that, but I know when it started, <laughs> when she started walking like that. So I, um, I, so I, she started walking by herself and she would just kind of walk in her neighborhood, but she didn't walk to the park because it was kind of uh, dark. The park, the the park, park is dark. It doesn't have a, it doesn't have any street lamps. It's a ways it. from the house. And it's a little, it's from, it's a, it's a little bit, it's like a parking lot away from any houses. And then there's a huge grass field and then a somewhat it ma major minor road <laughs> no it's not it's not a major road it's well it is continuing from a major road anyway so we i started walking she started joining me and well and so she's and so one day i was over there at night when she went on her walks and she was like come on a walk with me and so i went on a walk with her and then um and, and she just did kind of did it to keep herself fit and, and no whatever. it's just to get some exercise in my day because i'm i'm sort of a health coach and as a health coach I know the benefits of physical exercise it's not just good to lose weight it actually improves your brain function and your emotional. blood circulation yeah it improves your emotional health it's I mean there's so many different it's good for you yeah and so she started doing that and so, so I started walking just to get because I wasn't exercising except for like running after my children which actually tends to be quite physically laborious sometimes. I thought it was laborious. <laughs> laborious, whatever. And so... Again with the words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking dictionary. So I started walking like that, and and then Tyree, our older sister, started joining well, us. Well, so she started walking, and then I started walking with her, and, and, and then Tyree, our older sister, she wanted... I wasn't walking to the park. I invited her. She was like, she hey, wasn't. look, let's go to the park. Over here and, and do walked stuff us over there. And so I'm like, then our older sister, she, I, I have, I'm a little bit strong-willed, sufficient enough to then talk my sis, my older sister, into coming. So it's like when I go, I manage to talk all three of us into going. And so even when it's cold outside, and then and they're all like, what they don't, what she doesn't understand, because my older sister kind of does, not quite as much as me, but she, what she doesn't understand is that when. It, it, in my head, it's like, this is something that you do. It is just something that you do. You don't have a choice. You and just do it. And when you're cold before you even step foot outside and you don't feel like going, then you have not just this inner whispering. <sighs> you have a person that's bigger than you that could, probably, <laughs> that could maybe hurt you a little bit. That well, so <laughs> going to literally, she would probably like punch me till I... I would probably outside. put a jacket on her, dress her, and drag her out the door. <laughs> and so, I'm cold. I don't want to go, but my will is telling me that I'm going. And so I go. I'm just like, well, I've tried to fight against my will all my life, and it just doesn't work. So, so this I, one time... My will is strong enough for both of us and my older sister to... to dra my will is strong enough to drag all three of us undesirable to walk outside in the cold to walk. No, not just cold. One This one night... <laughs> I it was raining. It was raining. <laughs> and I was texting was someone. I was having a conversation before we left. So I'm texting and I walked in two puddles and I don't wear shoes, okay? I hate shoes. I don't wear them ever. She wears flip flops until it snows. Until there's like and not just a powdering of snow, until it has snow yeah. on the ground. So from March to November I wear Roughly. flip flops. Sometimes I wear uh barefoot running shoes, which as you can not see, a sponsor. yeah, they're also very, they're not much, but it takes effort to put them on. I just, I just, two shoes are a pain in my butt. So I don't wear shoes. So it's raining. It's freezing. I have two hoodies on because I'm so cold. And then I step in this freezing frigid puddle in my flip -flops. Because she was texting while we were on a walk. Not I had fault. to keep my conversation going. Anyway, so my kids don't wear their shoes either. I don't know if they, I rubbed off on them or what, but my daughter... We walk into any establishment, a building, a house, anywhere, and her shoes are off the second she steps foot in the door. And I'm like, why? Why do you need to take your shoes off? And then everywhere? if her brother puts her puts his shoes on, she's all like, I'm not wearing shoes. 
<laughs> she, she like takes it as a matter of pride. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to wear shoes. Okay. And if she doesn't know what willpower feels like, I her do. daughter does. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I started the walking. Yeah, I started the walking a couple weeks before she joined me randomly one night, and then from and there, then from there, I've just I've done it almost every night since then. And oh, so we started doing push-ups as well together. Oh yeah. So, so it was, was like we started doing these these one hundred push-ups in. Uh, and well, it, okay, so there was a challenge that somebody posted on Facebook in my news feed, and I saw it. it was these two guys, and they did a uh, hundred push ups a day for 30 days to see the difference. And the change was significant. I watched it and I was like, wow, that's pretty significant just for 30 days. So I was like, showing her, I'm like, what do you think of this? And this she took she that says as now. now. So this is so then this is how she took that. Oh, how. Would you like to do this with me and force me to do it from now? No, until she was at the end, end of time. She said, <laughs> she said for the show. What do you think of this for the show? Maybe I think I don't. And know so it's I'm like it's so it's like it's her idea if she wants to do it, but it's all on me if she doesn't feel like it anymore. <laughs> so we do we don't do full push ups. We do. Um, Incline push-ups because yeah. we're trying to work up to a hundred push-ups. My arms are already getting. Well, light. we do a hundred of incline push-ups. More cut ev every day. More to find. And um. And then I do a hundred pull-ups, like incline pull-ups on the ground where I'm like leaned back and I'm pulling up like this because I feel like I'm only working one side of my arm and it's becoming unbalanced. Um, and so it started where I was having a tiny bit of right shoulder pain. And so I was like, I don't like that. So I started doing the pull-ups to balance it out and I haven't felt any pain since. So um, I also run across a soccer field every day there and back and maybe potentially working. I just felt like I needed and to I always work do some back cardio. Bends. But basically we, we started, we started working out together, family fitness, me and her and our older sister. And so, um, so we will, we'll walk to the park and then on the way back, she does like that, her special walk. And I don't know when it started exactly, but it was around, either. it was, it was around like the first either. time and she started doing that and she was like, it's really good for your, for your abs and your core. She, oh, that's right. So I was doing pull-ups. I was doing push-ups. I was doing squats. Sometimes I was doing cardio and I felt like my abs were, were she was running. Neglected. Yeah. So that's not really working your abs out, but it's good. I feel like it's working out my core, so I feel like that's that's where that comes in. So that's why I do it. I don't even know how it started, honestly. I have no idea. And so then our older sister started doing it a little bit, which was hilarious because I, and then occasionally I would do it just to, to like goof off, but not actually because I was going to keep doing it. It wasn't, but I, I thought it was funny and I, I just kind of used it as a thing to see how silly I could get with it. And so tell us about your family working out together experiences. Yeah. Show us pictures or videos, just clips of things that you like to do and everything like that. I've It'll done push-ups with my nephew before. <laughs> There's actually women's fitness coming up. So we might actually clip on some other stuff and maybe we'll clip on some pictures of other family things like the kids in our family throughout so that you can look at them and it'll it, they're just super cute and they do stuff and so we do fitness together and uh and then when women's fitness is coming up so i'm sure we'll have something else for you guys maybe we'll do our 100 push up pull-ups and push-ups on the thing or at least this a, a one rep of them because we don't do all of them straight i'm all like ah, that's a little much and so because i keep on trying to increase my incline or decrease my incline. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Please comment, share, subscribe, and like. Please comment, post pictures, all of that stuff. And may adventures be in your cards.